Welcome. Well, you're at home with Jim and Joy, and you are an important part of our EWTN family. And we are delighted that you've welcomed us into your home. We know it's a busy home, and you have a lot going on there. We're glad to be with you. We certainly would love to hear from you, so send us an email with a question or a comment to jimandjoy at EWTN.com. And today we have an outstanding couple that we have known for a while. Their mm -hmm. names are Lucia and Ricardo Luzondo. They are EWTN TV and radio hosts. They are founders of Family Renewal Ministries. And we are going to have a great time yes. sharing with them about everything that's going on in the church, what's happening <laughs> with marriage and family issues and ways that God has called them now for a time such as this to build it up, yeah. to repair things that have been destroyed and to reset um, marriage and family and life and all the issues and everything that is good and true and beautiful. Well, Ricardo and Lucia do so much on the uh, EWTN side, Spanish speaking world. Hispanic ministries, but also moving in, in Europe and, and in America. And we would just kind of pass by each other in the green room. In the right? green room. So they would be getting ready to do their shows on the Spanish side. We'd be getting ready to watch. We're so impressed. We liked them so much. Yes. So, oh, gosh, we, we want you, you know, on. And so you're going to have that opportunity. And there's so much I didn't know about them. I didn't even, I didn't know that he was a medical doctor, uh, pediatric neurology, and uh, that Lucia is an attorney, and that they've really backed off from all of that to be missionaries, to promote the sanctity of the human person, marriage, and the family, to bring renewal to the church mm -hmm. and awakening, not only to America, but to the entire world. You're gonna to wanna to hear from them, their mm -hmm. analysis about things, about what's going on in our culture, in our society, and perhaps more importantly, the solution, which is Jesus Christ and the teaching of the Catholic Church. So plenty more to come. We'll be right back. You be encouraged. Life, marriage, and the family will prevail. prevail. We'll be right back. Welcome back. We're at home with Jim and Joy, and today our guests are Lucia and Ricardo Lozando. They are EWTN TV and radio hosts. They're founders of Family Renewal Ministries. You can visit their website, ricardoelucia.com. We are going to have a great conversation today, so you don't want to miss this. Well, friends, finally, here you are. We're finally at home. You with are. Jim. There you go. I mean, how many times were we missing each other in the years? Like, hey, yeah, you go, I go, you're on, yeah, we're off. Well, That's right. And then we got to get you on the show. So and it's, it's so finally perfect. happening. God's perfect time. Praise be His it name. It is perfect. Well, good. We're glad. Well, tell our family a little bit about the two of you how long you're married, what God has done to get you to this place where then we are going to springboard about all the great and wonderful places and things that God's doing in the ministry. Well, I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. And I'm from Caracas, Venezuela. Okay. And we met in ministry in Caracas, Venezuela in February of 2000, uh, and of 1999. Okay. And in the year 2000, the Lord united us in, married, in marriage. Three months before we met, we had a, a very particular experiences where the Lord spoke to us about marriage, mm -hmm. about meeting, uh, meeting someone. It's long and beautiful to tell, mm -hmm. but it's... Uh, the time is too short to, to go into detail. But we knew that the Lord had united us to be. Now we have to have to you be, back. So. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> For sure. Yes, We yes. were both involved in ministry and preaching and evangelizing. And well, that's the time that the Lord brought us together. And we, when we met each other, we said, I mean, I said, she's the one. Mm -hmm. And she said apparently the same thing. <laughs> so one year later, we were getting married. 
Yes. Yeah, right. he interviewed me on the radio in Caracas. He had a Catholic radio program, okay. and I was going to have several events in three cities in Venezuela. I sing. Well, now we sing together. Mm -hmm. We have three musical productions. Wow. And uh, that's where the Lord united us, and the Lord had told me in my heart that I was going to meet someone in ministry. And, and I said, if that's the calling that you want for my life, I want the man to be like this. And I grabbed the napkin mm -hmm. and wrote 26 requirements mm -hmm. <laughs> from, from being Catholic, uh, Roman Catholic and apostolic, all the way to mm -hmm. height, eyes, and everything. Mm -hmm. Three months later, he was before me in that radio cabin uh, and that radio studio mm -hmm. in, in Caracas, Venezuela. And we knew it in our hearts that the Lord had joined us for this mission. Wow. Yeah, That's him, exciting. Uh, previously, in my daily prayer, I had that motion inside that said, you're going to get married. And I was mm -hmm. saying to my friends, pray for me. I have a spirit of marriage <laughs> following <laughs> me because yes. I don't have even a girlfriend right. this time mm -hmm. because I was full time in, in the, working for the University of Central of Venezuela as a professor for medicine, but also I was the director of charismatic renewal in the diocese. So I was full time working all the mm -hmm. time. So I said, I don't have even the time to, to have a, a, right. a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. But then when I saw her, that's what I said. I mean, the Lord told me, this is, she's the one, she's been the one prepared for you. So all the, the life changed because then we decided, well, I moved to the United States. To then we have our, yeah. our first son. And then we decided to move back to Venezuela. But then in those discernment, what the Lord wanted for us. So finally, we decided to, to come here at the United States. And then we started our ministries together. We were having ministry in our independent, independently. But now as a marriage, the Lord prepared us in the first five years. I mean, the first five years were the most difficult years Aren't for a married fun? couple. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. I mean, a lot of challenges. But to form us mm -hmm. for what was coming on. So now today we look backward mm -hmm. and say, okay, well, the Lord was, was preparing, preparing us for yes. something. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to share with you today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I left my uh, practice being an independent woman, commanding myself to depending on him in, in another country. Mm -hmm. He left medicine, being a professor, being a practicing pediatric neurologist mm -hmm. to follow me. Mm -hmm. Then we had to leave Venezuela because of the up uprising yes. that is being lived in Cuba right, right now back then. And uh, the Lord started our ministry about five, six years after we started uh, our ministry towards marriage and families mm -hmm. about five years after our those uh, explosive five first years. Uh, I can't imagine. <laughs> I mean, first of all, so much God is reorchestrating. I mean, everything, mm -hmm. right? Careers and then bringing you two together. I mean, that's explosive. And then he goes further. He does to right. us <laughs> what he did to the young rich man. He mm -hmm. says, leave everything, mm -hmm. give everything away. Mm -hmm and follow me and serve me. Right. The young rich man didn't do it, but mm -hmm. we actually did it. Mm -hmm. So the Lord over the years told us, I want you to give away all of your possessions, literally mm -hmm. speaking, mm -hmm. keep nothing, zero in the bank. Mm -hmm. And we went as missionaries full time. It was a very difficult time, uh, but it was a glorious time of our lives. So for several years, we lived completely on, the, on God's providence mm -hmm. and having nothing, and we had to rebuild. And then he promised everything you gave right. to me, I will rebuild it over time. Right. And that's where we are right now. To mm -hmm. God we finally have a house again yeah. and all mm -hmm. of that, but we went through a lot of financial difficulties and a lot of trials. And we were doing about 47 weekends a year and sometimes two straight weeks in ministry. We only had about five weekends off a year mm -hmm. for years. So you mean serving people, the most humble of the humble, mm -hmm. everywhere in the U.S., Latin America, and Europe. Mm -hmm. In what forms? Uh, teaching, conferences, or other conferences, ways of serving? retreats, workshops, uh, leadership trainings, tons of marriage retreats. Mm -hmm. We have done hundreds and hundreds of events from 20 people to 20,000. Yeah. Hispanic ministry in the United States and Latin America is really gigantic and mm -hmm. the events are huge. Yes. Thousands of people attend. So, wow. uh, Yeah, through the years, you, did you know how marriage has been challenged mm -hmm. in more in the United States when the, the definition was changed? And that was the moment that the Lord said, okay, well, we need you, I need you there. So we've been discovering around the importance to promote the importance mm -hmm. of marriage and reaffirming how much marriage is needed uh, and the real understanding of marriage in any community, in mm -hmm. English, in Spanish, I mean, any, anyone, because this is what we are 
debating right now how to recover our our church and how mm -hmm. to recover our world mm -hmm. where the the values have, have been changing and marriage has kind of telling i mean people have been told that marriage is not anymore mm -hmm. a fashion thing i mean that's something that is out of order and that's a way to destroy society to destroy the church and the, the way to get to get god out of the picture mm -hmm. and there's a new new forms of atheism which that's what we're trying yeah. to fight now with. Well, you know, I, we run a pregnancy medical center, and mm -hmm. when we present marriage to this culture in which we live, I get laughed at. Mm -hmm. They laugh at me. Like, mm -hmm. where do you, I have three babies with him. He's been my boyfriend for eight years, but Matt, right, maybe I'm, that's their story. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, what, what do I want to get married for? And you have to represent the beauty of marriage and why we were made as man and wife and what these children deserve to be raised by the parents that created it in the union of marriage. And so that's what you two are trying to do Absolutely. is we are resetting and bringing us back to the foundation. And it's not just in the United States, it's in every culture and it's all over the world. That's why we have joined forces and we are a part of a ministry that has been born to do precisely that. Uh, bring the beauty of marriage and family life, which is as John Paul II mm -hmm. says, as the family goes, so goes the society and mm -hmm. so goes the world in which we live in. And it is so under attack. And we, we, we try to, rather than attack what is wrong, promote what is because mm -hmm. uh, you can defend and promote we do both mm -hmm. and by presenting people i mean they get transformed once they once they hear it it's like mm -hmm. shocking at first yeah. i've had some very macho macho latin guys it's like lady i wanted to kill you in that first mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. talk but then something was speaking to me i remember vividly a man very macho you know mexican guy uh, i just wanted to hit you but something was speaking to me inside that I had to yeah. listen. Mm -hmm. And now I have to tell you that at the end of this retreat, I have to accept that I was treating to my wife, mm -hmm. I was treating, I was being a beast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I know who she is mm -hmm. for me. I know right. who I am in front of, uh, before God. And we've seen so many miraculous transformations that is something beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's that's our pay. That's yeah. your fuel to that's do what you must do. That's the fuel that mm -hmm. moves our engine, mm -hmm. absolutely. And John Paul. St. John Paul II was saying in the Gospel of Life as regards telling the people to go out and share the Gospel of the sanctity and dignity of every human being, which has been declared throughout all the ages. And he said, don't be afraid, because while they might not know the term, the Gospel of Life, and you may not say the Gospel of Life, the Gospel of Life is already written upon their hearts. Mm -hmm. exactly. It's there already, right. and you're just going to echo that. And, and awaken, call it one, awaken it. Do you absolutely. think that's true as well? with marriage and with the family. Like you said, that was touching that man mm -hmm. yes. that you were saying. And that we have to reawaken that, we have to represent that, we have to call that forth. And the so truth you, is inside of people, uh, they, they can recognize what is true and beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something that stirs inside. And that's why we co-founded uh, with a beautiful couple, uh, the Gramers, Lori and Don Gramer, who are experts in marriage and family ministry nationally here in the United States. She's been past president of the National Association of Catholic Family Life Ministers. She's in the audience right now, by okay. the way. Mm -hmm. And we salute her for, for almost 50 years of work in marriage and family ministry ministry to do an effort to be able to transform parishes mm -hmm. into marriage and family building parishes, marriage building parishes. But the singularity of this initiative is that it, everything is done simultaneously in English and Spanish. Mm -hmm. And through marriage, uh, highly effective marriage and family ministries, we not only accomplishing the rebuilding of the family and God's plan, but we also accomplish unity and diversity, ecclesial integration. Mm -hmm. So, because a lot of people, you know, kind of like see other cultures and we all do. Mm -hmm. It's not one culture to right, others. Right. Every culture see, or ethnicity sees another one. It's like mm -hmm. there's otherness. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. It's like this is strange. This is different than mine. I don't understand it, so I have apprehension. So many times in our diverse uh, parishes in the United States, you see that the different groups remain separate mm -hmm. right. because they don't know each other. Right. But we build through this effort a culture of encounter. 
because when you have people knowing each other about each other there's not not strange anymore mm -hmm. and you can accomplish ecclesial integration and advance the beauty of family through every culture so it's a dual approach marriage and family ministry and ecclesial integration and the reality in the United, United States right now is that almost half 50% of the Catholics are of Hispanic origin. Mm -hmm. So right. that's why we working together are bringing about the, the, the beauty of, of marriage and mm -hmm. the, the importance of what you're saying is a new way of doing catechesis of faith formation is telling your story, mm -hmm. telling your story of conversion, telling your story of life, how God has acted in your life. So telling that story, I mean, being a storyteller <laughs> is what convinces more than just going and, and lecturing people. It's about your life. And right. that's why we invite parents and, and, and husbands and wife, tell your kids your experience. I mean, mm -hmm. they have to know how the challenges you have gone through and how God has acted in your life. And that way is more convincing than just lecturing. Right, mm. and the beauti beautiful thing about that is when you do that within the cultures, it's saying, you know what, we are the same. We're man, we're woman, we're married, we have children. Maybe we're doing it Italian, we're doing it Latino, maybe we're German, we're Irish, we're African American, whatever we are, but we have more in common. Yes. And the way that this marriage is gonna thrive is by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, absolutely. And so, and God is everywhere. And that's the way he wants to enable us to be the best version of ourselves in our marriages, in our families, and then take it to the world. How is the local parish going to receive you? How does it How happen? How are they receiving yeah. you? Yeah. Well, uh, we have a funder that supports the initiative in different dioceses. And the diocese applies for those funds, mm -hmm. and if there is a proof, there's a small match by the diocese, then we roll out the entire plan. We make an evaluation of the reality of the pilot parishes, mm -hmm. and then we start rolling out the programs which go from Marriage Building 101, which mm -hmm. is how to raise up new missionaries for marriage and family ministry, how to keep a, uh, a ministry vibrant and the volunteers engaged, um, and then we roll out trainings mm -hmm. uh, from the most basic uh, concepts of marriage to the most profound. Mm -hmm. Then we assess what the parish needs the most. If it's uh, young marriage, a lot of ministries don't do early marriage, mm -hmm. like accompaniment for uh, newly married mm -hmm. in their first six years. Uh, we call that brick by brick. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an initiative called uh, Marriage Care, which is uh, we train couples couples to identify marriage and family problems. And if a, uh, a husband or a wife or both reach the parish, many times they said, okay, let's wait until the deacon can see you or mm -hmm. the, the priest can mm -hmm. see you and it can be a long time or mm -hmm. we don't have a retreat for another eight months. We train these couples to identify, like, to do like a hospital triage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, pr we pray for them within 24 hours of their mm -hmm. call. Uh, we hear their story, we assess their situation, and then we send them to the resource and the ministry or the retreat that is appropriate to them. That brings more peop uh, people to the mm -hmm. pews because they say, this parish cared for me. Right. Yeah. We right. attend also marriage preparation. Uh, we have a lot of collateral support ministries to marriage preparations like Mary's Mantle, which is a team of people trained to pray for six months mm -hmm. for each couple before the wedding. Mm -hmm. And then they do a beautiful car with a bouquet of prayers mm -hmm. and sacrifices done for, for that couple. Beautiful. Then that couple is invited to the parish mm -hmm. and they're told that this entire group mm -hmm. of people was, were praying for both of you, for mm -hmm. you to be the bride that God created you to be, for him to be the groom God created them to be, all under the mantle of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and we even give him a piece <laughs> of the mantle with stars mm -hmm. and everything so that they can have that sacramental bless and they mm -hmm. can start with it their own mm -hmm. altar or place for religious uh, um, habit and yeah. religious yeah. traditions within their own home blessings of every room of the uh, of the house from the view of the groom and the bride so many so many mm -hmm. things it's very comprehensive yeah. we have also this old spouse 
like for couples that have been married like for us. a long time, like <laughs> us, like us, <laughs> fifty plus, which would be uh, us exactly. Uh -huh. And it's how to reconceive your marriage, re mm -hmm. reboot it, reinitialize mm -hmm. it, be useful for the Lord in this mm -hmm. stage, because people in our with our experience and marriage and life could be the best mentors of young couples. Mm -hmm. uh, we have programming for for parenting for for children and parents uh, age appropriate. I, I could be we we could do four four episodes on mm -hmm. on what we do we got about 45 seconds oh my. before mm -hmm. <laughs> did you want to add something to this well the importance of the marriage is not only a private situation is also communal, mm -hmm. so we belong to the community. Marriages mm -hmm. belong to the community. That's why we involve mm -hmm. the parish in all the efforts. It's not that it's, it's a private thing, it's between you and I, but also the community is involved in it, and that's why we have to award. And we awareness. invite the people to visit marriagebuildingusa.org, mm -hmm. marriagebuildingusa.org, if they want to find out more. Excellent. Ricardo, Lucia, thank you so much. Thank you so I'm much. I'm glad we have another day tomorrow to unpack this more fully. Thank you for your service Thank to you the for having us. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. There's plenty more to come, so don't go away. Welcome back while well, you're at home with Jim and Joy. And for a very long time, Father John Paul was away and he could not <laughs> join us. But now he's back. So, Father, we welcome you back. We certainly missed you on these little segments that we have with you. Tell our family where sure. you've been. Uh, I was in Rome for five weeks uh, from, I guess I took off May 23rd through June 25th. I was over there with uh, our EWTN Vatican uh, Bureau. Uh, we have almost 40 employees that work right on the Via della Conciliazione. So the long road leading up to St. Peter's, we have an office there, actually two offices there, uh, two minutes outside of St. Peter's Square. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's a, it was a privilege to be able to be over there with our employees uh, in Rome. And they needed you. They needed a chaplain. It was a hard time, I think, mm -hmm. for them after the pandemic. Mm -hmm. A lot of them worked from home. Uh, I learned a new term, smart working. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't use that term in the United States. Smart working is home working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so they said, oh, he's smart working today. Mm -hmm. He's working from home. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of them have come back into the office now, uh, but some are still working from home. Mm -hmm. And it, it's amazing to see what we can do with technology nowadays and to be able to get the work done. Here at the network, uh, we went at a time where we had, I think we went down from 370 employees to about 70 mm -hmm. back at the beginning of the mm -hmm. pandemic mm -hmm. in April of 2020. And to have all those employees working from home mm -hmm. and to be able to accomplish their jobs. And to know was, they were working smart. That was amazing, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we, yeah, they experienced it in a more drastic, I think, uh, than we did here mm -hmm. in the United States and Italy. Yeah. Uh, but it's good to be back and to be on this show. Uh, I'd like to say, I, I think I, I was just thinking, I wish they had a little bit more enthusiasm. Uh, <laughs> Ricardo, I'm Lucia. joking. I'm joking. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because when I think about marriage, I was with um, uh, Ricardo and uh, Lucia uh, at the World Meeting of Families in Ireland, and they helped to anchor the Spanish side. And I was able to interact with them. And when I think about marriage and family life, I have a handful of couples, obviously, that come to mind. And those you know, two, yes. two couples are mm -hmm. you two mm -hmm. and them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, when I think about what you're doing uh, in your life to uh, upbuild and to protect and to safeguard and to nourish the sanctity of marriage and family life, um, and for them to give up what they did, mm -hmm. to give up uh, a, to being a doctor in pediatrics yeah. and also to be a lawyer, I, I'll just I'll summarize this quick. You know, I think they had an inside track, an inside uh, look at the reality of marriage and where, where it's going and, mm -hmm. its, and its current state and in, in what they're doing. Because people open up to doctors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, people open up to lawyers. So for them to go into this ministry 
of marriage and to kind of have an inside look mm -hmm. at what it looks like at its most devastating mm -hmm. stages, especially as a lawyer, you're dealing with sometimes, you know, crazy cases, uh, custody battles mm -hmm. and all this stuff. Yes. I think they're exactly where God wants them. Mm -hmm. So that's all I have to say today. Oh, beautiful to have you back. Please close us with a, a sure. blessing. Family, may the Lord bless you and keep you and may he turn his face to you and be merciful to you and may he show you his kindness and give you his peace. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thank you, Thank Father. you, Father. How wonderful it is to be a part of this EWTN family with you and to work together and to know that life, marriage, and the family will prevail. Keep it on EWTN. Bye now.